Our Lady of Mount Carmel, 1251, St. Simon's Dock, Cambridge East Anglia. There is a story to the effect that many men who had kept a tradition of the holy prophets Elijah and Elisha, were made ready by the preaching of John the Baptist to hail the coming of the Messiah, and that, when the apostles having been filled with the Spirit upon the holy day of Pentecost, spake with diverse tongues and worked miracles by calling upon the name of Jesus which is above every other name, these men, seeing and being assured of the truth, straightway embraced the faith of the gospel, and that on account of their singular love toward the most blessed virgin, whose conversation and friendship they were able to enjoy, they paid her the respect of building her a little chapel, the first which was ever raised in honor of this same most pure maiden, and which stood upon that part of Mount Carmel whence the servant of Elijah had in old days espied that manifest type of the virgin, the little cloud like a man's hand, arising out of the sea. To this new chapel they repaired oftentimes, day by day, and in their sacred ceremonies, prayers, and praises, honored the most blessed virgin as the particular guardian of their congregation. For this reason they came to be everywhere called the Brethren of Blessed Mary, of Mount Carmel and the Supreme Pontiffs have not only confirmed to them the right to use this name, but have granted particular indulgences to all those who so call either the order itself, or any particular member thereof. Her name and protection are not the only gifts which the most bountiful virgin hath given them yea she hath given them the badge of the holy scapular, which she delivered to the blessed Englishman Simon Stock, even in heavenly garment whereby this holy order is marked and harnessed against all assaults. Moreover, in old times, when this order was unknown in Europe, and not a few were instant with Pope Inurius III to put an end to it, the most gracious Virgin Mary appeared by night to the said Inurius, and flatly commanded him to show kindness to the order and to the men belonging thereto. Many godly persons believe that it is not in this world only that the most blessed Virgin hath marked with her favor this order which pleaseth her so well, but that in the next world, where her power and mercy have a freer scope than here, they who belong to the guild of the scapular, who have practiced an easy abstinence, have been regular in reciting a few prayers enjoined to them, and have kept chastity according to their state of life, are comforted by her motherly love while they are being cleansed in the fire of purgatory, and by her help are borne forward towards their home in heaven more quickly than others. The order loaded with so many and so great gifts, hath instituted a solemn commemoration of the most blessed virgin, to be made year after year, in perpetual observance, for the glory of the same virgin. O Ramus! O Lord, who hast given this excellency unto the order of Carmel that the same should be especially styled the order of the most blessed Mary, always a virgin, thine own mother, mercifully grant that we on this day do renew her memory in solemn worship, may worthily be shielded by her protection and filially attain unto thine everlasting joy. Who livest and reignest with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.